Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So now we are going to start out a very, very, very fresh, fresh and a very new topic um, in the data structures. So uh, first of all, what I'll do, I'll just like uh, try to make up a new sort of a sheet over here, a new Python sheet. Just let me make that over one second. So till the time I request everyone as well to may start making up a a uh, new sheet onto your uh, IDE is generally whatever you are using, right? So just uh, try making in something as a new uh, worksheet for this, right? Okay, what I'm gonna do is that, I don't know why isn't it, the thing is working. I'll just try to open up a new project only. So new scratch file and um, that will be a python file great so yeah here we are having up a new uh, python file right so okay one second click over the file and uh, i'm gonna click over new and uh, a python file and the name for that python file it's gonna be my lcds great now this is one of the uh, like the other files which we have up over here that is my uh, data structure file only right so now into this what i'll do i'll i'll just help you out uh, with some new things one of the new data structures that we're going to discuss up into uh, this particular one and uh, that are my heaps h-e-a-p right that is one of the uh, other data structure which we have up over here what I'll do, I'll just comment this down and say that I'm going to write up um, everything about uh, what are heaps and everything with the practical implementations and all of the things. Okay, so I'm going to write heap data structure. Heap data structure is uh, mainly used. Heap data structure is mainly used to represent a priority Q. Okay, so heap uh, data structure it is a type of a data structure um, that is mainly it is used in for representing up a priority Q. Priority Q, I have already uh, discussed about that into my previous videos. So if you have not watched out those videos, you can just go ahead and check out those videos first of all. So there I have discussed about that what is a priority Q. Right. So now in Python, right, in Python um it is available it is available uh using that we have a module which is called as a heap q module right so uh in python this is one of the module models which we module which we have in heap q module so for that it is available so the property right so the property um of this data is the property of this data structure right to so the property of this data structure in Python um, is that is that each time that the property of the data structure in Python is that each time um, each time the smallest heap element right is this that the smallest heap element is popped popped means removed out right is popped so whenever whenever elements very whenever elements are pushed or popped heap structure uh, heap structure is maintained right now this is what is a heap data structure is um, all about right so it is mainly used in for uh, representing up of any of the priority queue right so now um, into that in, tip, in particular Python programming language it is available with the help of a heap queue module which we have up over here so the property of this uh, data structure which we have in python it is that um, every time the smallest heap element which we have in that is popped 
means every time the smallest heap element which we have in that is uh, taken out right so whenever the elements are there those are pushed or those are popped so heap structure is maintained right so whenever the elements are there those are um, either pushed means means if they are entered or if they are taken out from there so a sort of a, a heap structure is maintained only right so if i just write in that uh, if heap zero if i write in right if i put in large brackets and if i write in zero so that particular element is also going to return me the smallest element each and every time so that is one uh, thing which we have up into the heap data structure that every time it will return as the smallest element which we have up over here right now what is all about creating up a very simple heap so i'll just write creating a simple heap so process for creating up a simple is that um, the the heapify what is this heapify now it is one of the iterable which we have up over here the heapify okay now heapify that is the iterable which we um, have up over here so um, this function so this function is uh, this function is used to um, this function is used to convert the uh, one second this function is used to convert the iterable into a heap data structure okay so this particular function which we are having that is completely used for converting uh, the iterable into uh, the into the heap data structure and uh, and that's so into the heap order right so that is the very first thing which we have up uh, over here for the same so um, like with the with the help of the heapify iterable this particular function it is used for converting the iterables into a heap data structure and that is the heap order which we have up right so um fine how do we write up a simple program for this particular one so what i'll do i'll just write in as well so i'm gonna import up the heap queue okay heap queue is uh, the respective module which i have talked about over here so import heap queue right let's say i have variable as li i'll get down and then get uh, this one let's say i have variable as li right and that i can put in some elements let's say 5 comma 9 comma 7 comma 3 comma okay that sorry 5 comma 8 comma 1 comma 3 comma 7 right let's see these are all the elements which we have up over here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use up the uh, heapify for converting up a list into a respective heap right so I, i'll simply write up as then heap uh, q dot i'll just use in this particular function heapify which i told you and into that i'm going to use up my variable that is my okay one second that is my li that is my respective variable right and uh, after that what i'll do after that i can simply print up a statement that the created the created heap is comma and um, i can convert that into list for a bit getting it printed and that's li right now that is what is the whole program i'll just try to bring it up upwards only great right so what i did just very simply i imported up the heap queue right and uh, with that heap queue i have this li as a respective variable and into that i have inserted some of the elements also next again we are having up the heap queue function dot uh, heapify is my respective iterable as i told it will help you to go over all of the elements over here so heap queue dot it is the next is a heapify and uh, into the bracket i have this as li is my variable uh, onto which we have the elements which will go for my iteration 
right and uh, after that basically with the help of my print statement what i'll be doing with is creating up the heap and we're just trying to print up that all over here so what i will do i'll just try to run out this respective uh, program for me just a second okay so i'll just run out this particular one for me and um, okay yeah here so it the uh, created heap is 13587 that is my respective output for my heap right great okay one second what i'll do i'll just like try to simply first of all i'll just try to comment up all of these above portions which i have in like this and uh, get more down a little one second yeah from here towards the down okay yeah now now i'll run and it will give me a more clear because it will be much more clear to watch over the screen about the same so yeah here we are having up my created heap is 13587 okay still there is something which is uncommented okay this portion so one second i'll just take it from here Right now, I hope if it does, if I'm gonna run this all over again, it will be giving me the best. Yeah. So now the heap which we had created is one three five eight seven, right? As I have just created right in front of you. Now, that is the one thing. Now, if you want to add something or if you want to simply append something, anything like that, right? If you want to add something or uh, pop pop any elements over here then how do you do that so let's discuss about that now um, okay so now it will be my appending and um, appending and popping items efficiently okay so uh, first one is gonna be my heap push heap uh, push right and into the bracket i'm gonna write let's say heap comma and uh, with that we have e l e I'll, I'll let you know what everything is all about right great so yeah here we are having a pending and um, the popping items very efficiently so the function which we have i'll just write in this function is used to I'll get down from a new line this function is used to insert the element this function is used to insert the element mentioned mentioned in its arguments into a heap right so heap push function which we have in this particular function it uh, it is used for um, inserting up the elements uh, which are mentioned in its argument to a heap right so the order the order is uh, adjusted the order is adjusted so that um, so that heap structure so that heap structure is maintained right now this respective function which we are having in this heap for heap push function so this is um, all over using for inserting up the uh, elements which are mentioned in the arguments into our respective heap right so what happens at the order which we are having uh, that is uh, adjusted over here so that the heap structure that we have in that is completely maintained clearly right getting down we are having the second thing and that is my heap pop right heap pop right bracket that is again my heap right now this function now this function is used let me get down yeah now this function is used to this function is used to remove and return 
um, and return the smallest. This function is used to remove and return the smallest element element from from the heap. Right now that is what is being done. That heap pop it will help you to remove up and return up the very smallest element from the heap. So uh, the order which we have, and I'll just write in the the order is adjusted the order is adjusted so that heap so that heap structure is maintained right now that is what we have heap pop so this function it is completely used to remove and return up the smallest element from the heap okay um, the order which we have up over here that is adjusted right so that the heap structure which we were having in that is completely uh, maintained up into that same manner right so now what we will try to do is that we'll try to use up uh, these two heap uh, push and heap pop functions into some practical implementations okay so i'm gonna again import up my heap queue because every time you are you're making up a heap or you are using any heap heap um you require to import up this heap queue library right then only the things would uh, work out for you so heap queue again i have that li which is equal to my list let's say nine comma one comma 5 comma 2 comma 4 let's say okay these elements i have in so i'm gonna write heap q dot heap p5 right and that will help me to iterate and go all over around uh for all of the respective uh, list which we are having the elements of the list which we are having right now what i'm gonna print up all over here is that i'm gonna print that the created heap is print the created heap is I'm gonna put up like this all over and I'm gonna write that it's gonna end with like blank spaces right so that is one thing which we are having that uh, li is 91524 that is my list which we are having so heap q is equal to that is equal to my heap p5 li and what I'm printing is that I'm printing that the created heap is all like that and it ends with this right I'm gonna print up uh, my list with the uh, li right i'm gonna print up my list with uh, my respective um, like variable name into which we have already declared out our list and that is li for me right right now what will we do with the help of the heap push function right with the help of my heap push function i will try to uh, to push up some of the or uh, heaps into my respective uh, one right so what i will do uh, i will be requiring in some chances as well i am not chances or that you can say as uh, some total iterations are okay how much time will it take to uh, or, or basically how much chances will it require or how much pushes which is required to uh, put that elements into my respective heap so um in total we are having just five elements so yeah we can do that into four minus zero one two three four like that right and uh, yeah it will help me to uh, do so because here it starts with the zero only so in total we require four pushes i'm going to write up a uh, heap q dot heap q dot heap push and uh, i'm going to write li comma let's say i want four pushes so yeah i'm just writing up over here as four right that is done now i'll tell what try to do i'll just try to print in my modified one so i'll just write the modified heap the modified heap after push is okay and into that i will um, write it end over here like this and give the spaces right to the modified heap after the pushes and this is all over and i am going to print up list in the bracket of li right so what it will help me to do it will help me to simply print up this uh, respective one when my elements have been pushed inside it right 
now next what do we have next again i have up here my print statement and into that print statement i have the popped and the popped and smallest um element is the popped and smallest element is i'm gonna write it's gonna end with uh simple things and here i can just write down print i'll use that heap q again dot it this time it's gonna be heap pop because i'm gonna pop up the elements from my li variable right so yeah that is all done what i'll just try to do i'll just try to run out this particular one over here great so the heap which i had created is one two five nine four check out from the line number two the modified heap after the element is being pushed up is uh, basically again um, one two four nine four five okay and uh, the popped and the smallest element is one so the first element uh, see my my it has all automatically been taking my first element and what is whatever is my smallest element so uh, whatever is the respective element it will take that and it will write that for me and will take it out from my respective uh, heap so that is how the things work out all over here i have pushed four into this particular heap so my four is again getting printed into my heap if i had written any respective other number so yeah in that respective case any other number might have been um, like, like pushed in or that might have been written up over there right so i hope i am uh, uh pretty much clear to you about this a uh, respective thing about that uh, appending and popping the items efficiently over here with the heap push and uh, and with the help of this heap pop function right now getting down what i'm going to do we still have uh, some uh, some other things like if i want to now append and pop simultaneously so i'm just again going to write appending and popping uh, simultaneously right now into that the first thing which we are having that is my uh, heap push pop with the first one which we are having heap push pop so uh, inside that i'm gonna pass one parameter as heap and again one parameter as e l e right so i'll just get down a little great so heap push pop heap comma e l e now into this particular what happens so i'll just write that this function uh this function combines the this function combines the functioning this function combines the functioning of of both push or both push and pop operations of both push and pop operations in one statement uh, in one statement increasing efficiency right so uh, this hey he push for function as from the name it recommends right that um, here we are having up a option where we can uh, push and pop both the uh, things in one single uh, function only so into this particular function it combines up the functioning of uh, even pushing the element and even popping up the element also so in one simple statement only so like individually do not need to write heap dot push or heap dot uh, pop so uh, you can simply write heap dot uh, heap push pop and will help you to do up the respective thing very efficiently right next what we have up over here that that the heap order which we have heap order is the heap order which we have that is uh, maintained the heap order is maintained after this operation so whatever the op uh, order over there is that right that particular operate or uh, order uh, is completely maintained after this particular operation has been performed right so that is the uh, thing which we have up over here so with the heap of uh, push uh, pop function this respective function uh, combines up the functioning of both push and pop operations in one statement which increases up the efficiency 
and uh, hip order is maintained after this respective operation that is one thing which we have up second we have one more that is a uh, hip replace right hip replace inside that again the parameters which are passed are hip and ela right hip replace now into this respective parameter what will we do so i will i'll start writing so this function which we are having the uh, okay one second uh, okay one second yeah so this function this function also this function also inserts and pops elements in elements in one statement okay this heap replace function which we have in this function also inserts and pops the elements in in one statement but but it is but it is different from uh, but it is different from the um, above function but it is different from the above function right so i'll just write that in this in this the element one second in this the element is uh, in this what happens the element is first it is first of all popped then the element then the element is uh, pushed right first of all into this what happens that the element is first of all popped and then the element is uh, pushed uh, that is that is the that is the one second that is the value larger that the value larger than the the value larger than the pushed ra, larger than the pushed value can be returned the value the the then the element is pushed that is the value which is larger than the pushed value that can be returned up over here right this heap replace function this heap replace the heap replace it returns uh, the heap replace returns the smallest value the smallest value uh, originally it replaces the smallest value originally in the heap in the heap regardless in the heap regardless of regardless of the uh, okay regardless of the pushed element as regardless of the of the first element as uh, as opposed to the heap push pop right so then generally what is over here in the heap replace uh, so this function it also inserts and pops the elements in in one statement right but rather it is different from the above function right now into this what the reason is that into this uh, the element which we are having that is first of all popped right in the element which we are having that is pushed the first thing right now that is uh, basically the value larger than the push value it can be uh, returned up so this um, heap replace function which we are having it returns up the smallest value very originally in the heap uh, regardless of basically what is the pushed element right as that is opposed to the he push pop so that is uh, like one thing which we have up over here into this particular scenario okay great so now uh, these two functions are pending and uh, replacing and popping these two functions we have up uh, over here into um, this manner and uh, this is how it actually goes and this is how it actually works so what I'll do, I'll just write import heap q. It will just try to import up this respective function, this respective um, I'll say module or library. So we are first of all importing up the heap q. Let's say I have a variable as li1, right? And I'm just trying to make up a list over here. Let's say my elements are uh, 5, 1, 9, 4, 3. Okay, like these are my elements 
I have one more list li2 okay into that again we have let's say 5 comma 7 comma uh, 9 comma uh, 4 comma 3 we have the same element in both the list list right now what I'll do I'll just use uh, heap 5 for converting this list into the heap okay that is my iterable only as I have already mentioned him so heap q dot heap 5 into the bracket I have my li1 next is my heap q dot heap 5 again and inside that okay not heap 5 right inside that I have li2 so my both the lists have been converted to the iterables now right now I'll print out this statement so the, my print statement is the the popped item using the popped item using heap push or uh, popped item using heap or uh, pushed pop is I'll just get down um, and comma I have this end is equal to and this space is like that right so that is one thing which we have the, that the pop the item using the heap push pop is and uh, like comma and we have that space for this right next i'm going to print up something like uh, heap q dot heap uh, push pop right heap push pop into that i'm going to write in what do i want let's say from li list one i want to uh, push and then pop two right now that is what i want right now i'll be using the heap replace function to push and pop the item simultaneously right let's say this time i'm gonna do for any other let's say it's three okay so this time i'm gonna again print up a statement that the the popped item the popped item using heap replace the popped item using heap replace one second is comma i have this end is equal to and this space is like this right and with that i will print up my respective thing to print heap q dot heap uh, heap replace into bracket i have li2 comma let's say my number is two that i want to uh, heap replace right now it's the time for running out this respective program so check out from where okay yeah check out from here from these lines that the popped uh, smallest element is one the popped item uh, using heap pop, push pop is one and the popped item using heap replaces one right you have to just check out these three lines from here right the, the pop sorry no not from here uh these two right the pop right now which we have popped in with the help of the heap push pop that is your one because uh it's in it's pushing two for me and it's gonna pop in the smallest uh, number for me so it had pushed in pop or two over there and um, basically the smallest number which i had and into my complete uh, array that was one so it has simply removed that uh, one from over there right now he replaced the number which i mentioned that was three right and i want to remove up this or i want to pop this element so yeah it has simply popped out or removed out this or uh, three from here for me so that is what we have up here all around that is what we have up into this respective thing right now this is all about this respective uh, manner about uh, how you can push or how you can pop up the elements with the uh, help of the replace and uh, everything right so i hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you about um how this could be done right or uh, how this actually works out or uh, what are the things which we have up over here into this uh, heap which could be worked over which could be seen over here right yeah these are the, some of the functions which we have up in the heaps heaps are not too much diverse in data structures it's just that key um, we have the things over here right we just work over that particular things and uh, with those only we just simply proceed in further and do up our respective tasks 
right now let's see if you want to find out what are the smallest or what are the largest elements from heap in python right so we have two functions n largest and n smallest these are two functions which you have in the syntax goes in as uh, n largest uh, the k means which you want to find right the iterable and the key value again smallest k uh, sorry again for the smallest n is smallest your uh, k value iterable and the key for which you want to find the value so what we can do we can just write in a program for that over here so i'm going to import up my heap queue uh, function once again i'll do one thing one second okay i'll just write up over here on a comment that uh, we are using the n smallest and n largest functions right we are just going to use up the n smallest and the n largest uh, functions over here so we are just importing up the heap queue function i can initialize up a list right this time six nine one three five two four eight like that let's say okay that is my list uh i'm gonna use the iterable that is my heapy five function so heap oh uh, okay one second heap q dot heapy five okay and uh, i'm gonna iterate my list one l i live one right and this time i'm going to print up the three largest numbers okay so print the the three largest okay the three largest numbers in list are like that the three largest numbers in my list are uh, one second i'm going to give in some space like this and i'm going to give it one minute i'm going to shift it backwards and uh, here i am going to write up like end is equal to spaces getting down i am going to write up print i'm going to use up that function heap q dot uh, n largest three largest and that is going to be my li of one li one okay and now let's say this time i want my smallest to be printed so it's again that simple so print the let two is smallest okay one second the two is smallest numbers in list are okay comma i have end is equal to and the space like that right getting down i'm going to use up the n smallest function so print heap q dot uh, dot n smallest this time i want two comma i'm again i'm gonna use li one right so once i'll run this all over it will help me to give in the largest and the smallest numbers also so see it gave me the three largest numbers in the list are nine eight and six and the two smallest numbers in my list are one comma two right so that is all around that is all about that how does this heaps work all over here right that is the manner so into this respective video we discussed about the heaps what are the heaps or uh, what are the different functions we have in into it what are the different modules which we can use how the things work out um and basically how you can do the practical implementations as well for the same we have discussed all those things in quite pretty much detail right away right so if you have enjoyed the video do like this video do share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe about my channel see you there in the next video